about continue play pays pays continue from a left who thinks that the police should parade round in burqas and not send sniffer dogs into Muslim houses just to appease radical Muslims, we also get... Here we go again. Oh, you've got to emphasize, well, somebody's got to make the first move, haven't they? And if the radical Muslims are staying in their firmly entrenched positions, then, well... The lot falls on us, doesn't it? The rest of us in the nation. To skirt round them. Because at least the goalposts get moved by somebody, which is the main point. Vote Horses, you may not think it's a big deal to arrest a Muslim for terrorist activity in the middle of his prayers, but bloody hell! Oh, they seem to think it's a big deal! Now I've given you my unbiased analysis. Please do continue. And don't worry, I'll continue to set you straight all the way through your lecture. Someone with your views deserves that. We now get the Transgender Police Association to go with the likes of the Gay Police Association, the Black Police Association, and all the others. Well, there's nothing wrong with having a special interest group set up for the transgender community. Chicks with dicks! And fellas who like to dress up as women, you know. (laughs) They need to be represented and protected from prejudice, I've got to tell ya! As Richard Littlejohn reflects in an article of his, an article lambasted from frothy mouths lefties on the web, all that really counts is having a police which is able to do the job. You don't need special interest lobby groups. All you need to do in order to satiate the lefties when they say that these special groups have been set up to protect people from persecution is ensure that anybody who's bullied within the police force, or anywhere else for that matter, is eligible for various protections as guaranteed by the law and various disciplinary procedures, which have already been in place in these workplaces for many, many decades. What's more, these disciplinary procedures and laws in the past, they have been as balanced as possible and as level as possible. Doesn't matter who you are, we're all subjected to the same legislation. But the only reason these lobby groups exist is to demand special rights for their people. Whether or not, as they see it, it would only be bringing them up to line with everybody else. Well, in that spirit then, it's perfectly rational to be able to demand another lobby group, specifically for, for example, white people or heterosexual people, to ensure that their rights are protected too. But... (laughs) That's, that's absolutely ludicrous what you're talking about, mate. You can't have that, you know, not under LIPA. Uh, well, I mean, just... <laughs> that goes far too far. Because don't you know that it's the majority people in this country... <laughs> they hog far too many of the existing rights and laws as it is. And so you can't possibly set up another lobby group to specialise in protecting only their interests, so... Otherwise it really would be political correctness gone mad, wouldn't it, mate? Yeah, cos that's the trouble with the left. They're far too divisive. They're far too obsessed with minorities, either normal or weirdo, to be able to concentrate on what they say they want to give. A nice even, flat playing field for everybody. Total equality, in other words. But no, they'd rather pander to weirdos and circus freaks instead. (gasps) Weirdos and circus freaks! How dare you be so offensive, mate! They can't help the way they were made. How dare you! And so the only way to make these people feel that they're just the same as everybody else is to set up a unique lobby group to cater solely for their interests. That'll make them feel as if they're 
with everybody else, mate. He has to single them out and say, look, 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 look. Even they've got the same rights as you, mate. So you just watch it. Votes Labour. Yes, that'll really do it, won't it, Jonathan? <laughs> yeah. And so now are you going to apologise to all of those transsexuals for calling them circus freaks? Oh, yeah! Yes, all right. I'm sorry, I apologise. I didn't mean anything, really. I was far too busy venting at Jonathan Leftwinger's crap policies to consider your feelings. Which is ironic, really, because that's just the way the lefties behave, insofar as they themselves are far too interested in their own rants and dogmas to truly consider your feelings properly. Yeah! Yeah. yeah. And now we move on to the next segment. Now I've swayed and everything out. Or should that be Ben? <laughs> Aren't I wet, eh? And you go on at me for being offensive. Well, I'm different. I do it in an ironic manner, like Ben Elton. We're lefties. Although I would like to add something to the previous point before we continue. Oh, typical bloody Labour. Always going on and on and on and trying to hog all the debate for themselves. Well, I mean, somebody's got to, haven't they? <sighs> if we in Labour didn't try to keep banging on and on and on and talking across absolutely everybody else, mate, that they're only going to think that their own views and opinions are the ones that matter the most. So, I don't think so. The proof of the pudding being that we've had 11 years of good, solid, new Labour government behind us to prove it. All right, all right, what's your point? I think that we haven't actually gone far enough in employing all these specialist lobby groups, you know. us. <laughs> Not by a long shot. Oh, yeah? Who's left? Why, incompetent people, of course. Oh, yes, mate. And I should like to fill the gap by founding my very own special... Jonathan Leftwinger Incompetent Persons Police Association. Oh, yes, mate. Because as everybody knows, the premier role of a police force should be to care and to share. <laughs> and to walk round in open-toed shoes. Singing about blowing in the wind, mate. That's what the police are there for. <sighs> Under Labour. Because it washes away the stent of institutional racism, it says. Wow. <laughs> well, I mean, it's only common sense. The hippie police force. Well, it's either that or have them being downright fascist. Except when the new Labour government wants to use them as a tool for something or other. Oh, yes, our mistake was to send out the police force to crack the skulls of other left-wingers at that demo not so long ago. <laughs> and now we've got to water down the effectiveness of the police force in this country more effectively than ever before. Because, I mean, let's face it, these other left-wing people are our compadres. We wouldn't be able to hold our heads up high amongst them if we didn't destroy the night and even what I mean, reform. The outdated. Oh, oh, bloody hell. Yeah, perhaps we can get on with the next segment now. No, 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 I'm back on track, I'm back on track. Just give me a chance, I'm back on track. <sighs> Incompetent people, you were saying? Yes, a special branch set up to represent them. Because it's not fair that incompetent people should be constantly lambasted, constantly disciplined, and constantly dismissed just because they happen to be grossly incompetent. <laughs> well, that's discrimination, fire. <laughs> 